first. It usually runs out, but it runs all the time. Look at the camera or no? Nope. Make it, uh, look at the audience. Okay. okay. Go ahead. So, how many of you uh, are supported? Sorry, how many of you support the preservation of the environment? I would say most of you. Okay, but how many of you would give up your mental and cognitive abilities just for the environment? Okay, got one hand. That's yeah. So. In 2015, there was a study conducted by the Codex Group that uh, found there was 30, nearly 36% of books sold were ebooks. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because ebooks actually can be detrimental to your own health, believe it or not. Personally, I prefer hard copy books because ebooks have uh, a few th problems with them, and I'll get into it. So here's a quick preview. I'll be talking about five different topics today. Uh, one would be your well-being, two, understanding blue light, three, understanding how your mind interprets reading, uh, four, solutions, and five will be the long-term outcome here. So first I'll be talking about uh, why reading ebooks is harmful to your well-being. Now according to uh, Gallagher from BBC in 2014, uh, ebooks actually cause damage to your sleep. Now the reason why is because there is a blue light emitted from these screens, and I'll get into that just a little later, uh, but keep that in mind. And it hinders the production of melanin in your mind, which is the hormone that helps you go to sleep. You've ever heard of uh, melatonin tablets? You take them, you go to sleep. I often take them sometimes. Um, and according to a Harvard research team, it's the sleep deficiency that you experience from using these uh, e-books all the time is causing an increased risk of cardiovascular disease and metabolic diseases such as diabetes, as well as certain cancers, not all. It's a little generalized there. Um, it's also linked to stress, according to Bushak from MedicalDaily.com 2015. And according to her, it takes six minutes to de-stress yourself entirely when reading a hard copy book. But when reading an e-book, it takes a lot longer. Sometimes you don't de-stress at all. Again, also due to the blue light, and I'll get into that in just a minute. Uh, the use of screens is also linked to depression as well as fatigue. Now, this is also related to the blue light. So we ask, what is it about this blue light you keep talking about? Well, it's, as we know, a color in the visible light spectrum. And I have just a, sorry, a photo right here uh, showing you where exactly it is on that spectrum. Now, going to the left over here is actually much stronger rays that are harmful to you, and I'm sure most of you know that UV rays are not exactly always beneficial, and they can cause uh, certain skin cancers. Now, it's found in the atmosphere, as well as in any of the TV screens, computers, laptops, or smartphones that we all text on all day long. But you ask, okay, why is blue light dangerous? Well, as you can see over here, it's, a, it's on to the left side, closer to the UV, which means it has higher energy uh, in that light. And that's your retinas are not exactly built to filter out all that blue light and that stimulation that you, you get all day long from these uh, devices. So why is it that this is such a problem? Well, it flickers easily. And that flickering is creating a glare that affects three things, your visual contrast, your sharpness, as well as your clarity. And so now that we've talked about a little more of the blue light, you kind of need to understand uh, why, why it's so important for you to read books and how your mind interprets them. So just recently we've created a language system, it may not seem recent, but in terms of 4.3 billion years, uh, we created a language system in the fourth millennium BC, and the recognition of those characters begins when we're very young. Now, when we're reading, we construct a mental representation of what exactly is going on, whether it be you know, uh, guys walking in the park or around whatever track. You're visualizing that in your mind. You're putting some kind of connection towards that. Now, according to um, Scientific American, an associate editor wrote an article in 2013, uh, books provide a clear to, <laughs> excuse me, provide a clear topography, meaning the left and right pages that you have there side by side and the eight corners that you see. Now, the reason why this is so important is because it creates a rhythm for you. Now, turning the pages from left, uh, sorry, from right to left is showing, not showing, it's uh, giving your mind some kind of representation of what exactly is going on, how fast you're getting through this book. One side is getting thicker, whereas the other side is getting thinner. 
And uh, this rhythm actually allows the reader to interpret the information better as well as retain it better, and you will obviously need that uh, later on. So now that we've talked about uh, those few things and you understand how exactly the mind interprets this, we'll talk about a few solutions. There's really only two. Um, the first one is to just read hard copy books. There's not really much else you can do. Um, now, according to uh, Boran Forum, uh, the Washington Post in 2015, students report it's actually easier to focus as well as retain information. Now, that's not a surprise because you create a visual representation, as I said before. The other thing you can do is limit screen time. Uh, now, excess screen time can cause a loss in volume of brain tissue, and that can be, like I said before, detrimental to your cognitive abilities, and also can decrease communication within the brain. Um, so now that we've talked about that, I'll move into long-term outcome. According to uh, Iowa State University 2015, it, if you follow what I just said to limit screen time as well as read hard copy books, uh, you'll improve the sleep as well as your circadian rhythm, and that's basically your internal time clock that you have that's going to the 24 hour cycle. Uh, you'll also improve your behavior as well as academics and lower the risk of those diseases that I told you about before. So, we've talked about quite a few things, so I'll get into a quick recap here. Um, I've talked about how ebooks affect you, uh, blue light, understanding how your mind interprets reading, uh, solutions, as well as long term outcome here. Now, what I hope I have gotten through to you guys is that ebooks are actually detrimental to your health and it's not uh, good for you in the long run and it can affect you in many, many different ways. And I really don't want to find out what exactly is going to happen. So if you'd like to take action or go forth with any of this, find out a little more, um, I would say one, please use a hard copy book as in buy a textbook rather than um, use ebooks and to visit bluelightexposed.com. Thank you.